Hello there, welcome back again to our channel and if you're new to our channel, nice to meet you and welcome. I hope that each and every one of you are doing great. And uh, today's topic, I hope that this topic will give you some ideas on what to do. Because the topic for today is about LDR ghosting and how you can move on to this. How you can handle when you have this kind of situation. So I know that this kind of situation, ghosting, is normal when it comes to searching through love, through dating site or when you have it when you are in a relationship doing in the LDR situation long distance relationship so ghosting it's just like uh, a relationship that is ban vanished or it's gone without you knowing why so for example someone was falling in love with you you think that this person is really the one you have a, a wonderful plan together you have an amazing time together and suddenly this person is uh, not showing any more time and effort to you not really answering your questions and not really showing his love and care for you and when you talk to him he don't really reply nicely and it's just like it's irritating him for you to answer your questions or suddenly this person is not the same like the one you met before so for the person who's falling in love to this kind of of this man or this girl it truly really hurts for you it truly really hurts especially if you give your time and effort to this person and suddenly he or she changed the way she used to be so it really hurts but the only thing i can advise to you for you to move on to this kind of situation you have to be frank or if this person you can still send a message to this person then tell him or her one last word if you're truly serious with me then you come and be the same like you are before if not then we're not really meant to be you're you deserve somebody else and i do as well so the only thing i can advise to you when this person changes, it means maybe he, he or she found somebody else better than you On, or maybe you did something that he or she doesn't like then she or he fall out of love from you so or it means he's not ready he's not ready to fall in love during LDR or the only thing is maybe she found somebody else so the only thing you can do is to not overthink this is not the end of the world this is not the end of searching it only means this person has just part of your book of life he just come for you to learn something and you just have to learn yourself to love yourself and be happy it means this person is not meant for you this person deserves somebody else and you deserve somebody else as well because when destiny comes it's always say thank you lord that's the only thing you can say so you have to learn to move on be happy enjoy yourself with your family and friends do the things that makes you happy and never give up never surrender still search and if you still if you're a person who's still searching i recommend you to join the christian filipina dating site i have in the description box for you to find a serious relationship so never give up in finding that serious partner in life that you want to be the person you dream of never give up and always try the things that make you feel this is the way i can find that person so never overthink about it never stress your life this person doesn't deserve you to be stressed so doesn't deserve your love you deserve somebody else so you have to learn to to give up you have to learn to move on you have to learn to give yourself a chance to fall in love again to somebody who deserves you so you have to learn to open your heart and give a chance to another person maybe the other person is meant for you and that person is not meant for you that's why he's gone or she's gone so you have to learn to enjoy life and if you are broken-hearted it means you have to learn something from that it doesn't mean that's the end of searching so that's normal so you have to learn to love yourself 
and always remember God has an amazing plan for you that's why things happen like that because God knows you can handle it and you deserve somebody else and if you think that this person doesn't share his time and effort to you he doesn't love you anymore as much as you expect then it's time for you to give up and uh, always remember that there's always one out there waiting for you you just have to find a way so you have to learn to move on and be thankful to that person from something else, some from something that he gave to you for you to learn you have to learn something from him so that's normal so you just keep moving on in life and remember that God loves you you just have to pray and God for uh, seek God for his guidance and uh, that's part of uh, that's part of searching when it comes to long distance relationship uh, no matter you like it or not it will always be part of your searching that you will be failed to search uh, you will be hurt that's normal so you just have to know what you want and what you don't like and always remember when you're in a relationship you have to think about if this is the one this is the one if if she's not if he's not if he's not the one then he's not the one you have to think this one always that no matter what happened you're always prepared and you can easily move on because you already accept so no matter what happened you already prepared so that's why you don't have to focus truly your hundred percent falling in love to that person because once because you're not married yet so anybody of you this flies is struck me so any one of you can be changed at any time so when it comes to long distance relationship you have to be open and you have to know what you want what you don't want so if you meet someone that you think it's he's the one or she's the one she's the perfect one i really like her but you always have to think if she's the one she's the one if not then it's not then you're you're prepared your mind your heart is prepared so no matter what happened yourself is prepared so you don't get you don't really get hurt you can easily move on because you already prepared your mind that uh, if she's the one she's the one then that's why i always advise not to give your hundred percent in love not to be fall in love hundred percent to the person you're talking because as long as you're not married yet you don't own you don't really own that person he or she has a freedom to choose another one so that's why people can hardly move on because they really think this is the person this is the this is really the one i want and she's my future one and suddenly this person is gone so the person who can easily move on is the one who accept already who's prepared and the one who's not prepared that's the one who can hardly move on so my advice to you is don't don't give your 100 percent love to that person you're talking you can be the best that you can but always remember as long as you're not married to this person this person can leave you anytime so you just have to be the best that you can and show this person that you love and you care and you have to keep your time and effort and uh, always be there for that person so happiness sadness you have to be together and relationship should be give and take so when one person is not really happy you have to make this person happy you have to understand why this person is not happy and of course time and effort relationship especially long distance relationship you have to give your time and effort you have to chat if you cannot do video call you have to chat you have to message you have to let this person know what's going on because this is the only way that keeps you two of you together closer the more time and effort you share the more closer you feel you don't feel the distance so my advice is to keep going in life never overthink don't stress your life just be happy keep going keep searching never go never give up never surrender no matter when this no matter what happened never give up if that person breaks breaks your heart then it means he's not the one and you have to learn something from that and uh, love yourself and keep going and if you think that uh, do something different for example you you think about that then make yourself make your mind busy with something else that makes you happy so that's the only thing you can do and uh, like I'm here I can always give you some tips and ideas so you can talk to somebody who can understand your feeling like me I can un I can truly understand what you feel
so you have to talk to somebody you have to to share your your problems to others then maybe other people can share their ideas to you and they can make you feel lighter and happier so the only thing is move on keep going in life pray to god and the destiny will surely come at the right time so when it's not the right time then no matter what you do she or he will never come but if you meet somebody she he or he's still gonna run away because he's not the destiny the destiny is the end of searching is the way of saying thank you lord he or she arrived in my life you give me you give this girl to me you give this man to me thank you lord so it means this one is a perfect one has everything you prayed for so just keep going and be happy and love yourself no one else can love you first except you so don't forget to click the link on my christian filipina dating site if you really need to find someone who be to be with you for the rest of your life especially if you're the man who's lonely and who wants who pray to have somebody be with you who understand you who loves you who takes care of you then a christian filipina dating site is the best place for you one of the best place for you to join and that is for a serious relationship and we filipinas are willing to love and care to the man who truly loves us who truly appreciate us no matter who we are a man who loves us who cares for us then we do share our best love and care to this man so we believe in one man one woman so we like that one of my wish before is to find a man who's one woman man so i want a man who loves me in no one else because i will do the same to him so good luck to all of you who search and keep going and never stress your life be happy and remember god loves you no matter what you pray in the right time god will bless you and make your dreams come true sometimes it's more than what you dream of so good luck and god bless to all of you Take care and stay safe. You can comment down below whatever you want to to see on my next video. If you want some advice or opinion, you can please comment down below. And I try to make an uh, English video for those who cannot understand Tagalog. And I'm sure all, in, all Tagalog person, Tagalog people like me, can easily understand and speak English. So I try to speak in English for those who cannot speak Tagalog. So good luck to all of you. God bless and take care. Stay safe.